coming to regular startups that you know most of us have been a part of i have some questions for you since you are also a dharma guru i want to ask certain questions uh, relating to dharma first question is an entrepreneur's job only to make money are there other parameters that one should consider to be successful because sri krishna paramatma says karmanye vadikaraste which means i should not worry about things other than money so what are the pointers from our dharma that an entrepreneur should follow in his given karma the very relevant question not just for entrepreneurs but for everyone but entrepreneurship was never about making money i thought it was about proving an idea and uh, solving a problem and money was supposed to be the by product of entrepreneurship so i think that sets the concept right money will follow if you are doing the things in the right way and uh, even before bhagavad gita starts bhishma pitamaha advises all these pandavas and says yato dharma tata krishno yato krishna tata jaya wherever there is dharma the right way of doing things ethics are there that's where krishna is there krishna means he represents the divine grace and wherever such divine grace is there tato jaya that is where victory or success will be we have seen plenty of startups entrepreneurs who have come up they made big uh, valuations and uh, you know in the last 3 4 years especially it looks like a fantasy the number of startups that became unicorns all of a sudden and today we are already seeing the other side the cycle is turning we are seeing there are firing of employees those valuations are deteriorating and many of these startups have not stood the test of the public boroses they have not stood the crucible of the public uh, listing and that's very clear proof as in uh, you know they say if you not done it ethically the public has sab janti hai so the moment you go to the stock market you will come to know what is what and that's what has happened to most of the startups the greater fool theory did not work in the public market and i think that clearly sends out a message that dharma was important you pinched employees unethically from other companies because you got a huge funding and now you destroyed another company and now when you are not able to make profit you are kicking them all out so this hire and fire way of startups and entrepreneurship is not dharma you not only destroyed the business ethics but you have also destroyed the morale of those employees those engineers i was telling the other day some poor engineer would have got married uh, showing his salary slip and <laughs> in 6 months he has got three hikes and going to buy a car and borrowed of money from the bank to buy a new house and all of a sudden he's been removed or he's on the way to the office he gets a message that you are no more an employee what happens to him a budding young engineer what happens to his morale is the question and what happens to all those thousands of schools and colleges who lost good teachers because of edtech companies in the last 2 2 and a half years now my question is that is it dharma it is not dharma sooner or later it will show the cracks and anything that is built on such shaky fundamentals even if they manage to find a valuation and investors in the short term long term they will not survive at least the public uh, as i said they, when they go to for listing the public will see through the entire model which is only valuation and no profitability